You must be terribly excited and all of the girls must be very excited flying over for the first weekend of footy. Yeah, re really excited. I'm um, really raring to get going and play the game on Saturday night. How long's the game? Best is 18 minutes quarter, is that right? Um, yeah, that's with time on. So the 15 minute quarters and then roughly, you know, four to five minutes time on. So Okay, so you still have a quarter time break and a half time break, etc. Have you got a team song yeah. or do you sing what the boys sing? Uh, we sing what the boys sing. Okay. Mm. So obviously there's a bit of nervous energy there today and you take on uh, the Bulldogs. Are they going to be a formidable opponent? Yeah, I think they've got some uh, really good players. A lot of the players that are in that team and um, we're just really excited to take them on and yeah, I think it'll be a very good contest. So, Amy, nerves, obviously. What's it like out at the airport now? I mean, uh, has it been... Um does it feel like you're about to embark on history? Do you, do you realise the sense of the place in the game you guys might occupy as the very first? Yeah, I think it's starting to sink in. I think it really sunk in that training last night um, that we were heading over to Melbourne and as a team. And um, there's a bit of a buzz around this morning. And, yeah, we're really excited. A lot of people are wondering what sort of involvement Ross Lyon and others from the male team have had. What, what sort of impact or involvement have they had with your pre-season and your planning? Um, obviously, they train at a different time of the day, so we don't get to see them as much. Um, but Ross is obviously always... He um, had a chat to us earlier in the pre-season and uh, the boys got around us with our jumper presentation. So, um, yeah, it's really exciting. I understand Sean McManus spoke to you guys and uh, and spoke very, very well. What were what were his messages to you? Um, he just was, it was really important for him to wear the jumper every day, every game that he played. And he just said as soon as we got that jumper, just to really know the significance of playing in, in a Frio jumper and just to take everything as it comes and play hard, play relentless footy. Now, who's on your coaching panel? I know one of ours is Paul Hazelby. Who else is there? Uh, we obviously got Craig Thompson, who's our defensive coach, um, and then uh, Wilbur, Tony Walters, who uh, is our forwards coach as well, and then we've got Martine Pierman, who helps out with our back line. Michelle Cowan's the head coach, obviously. She's had great success. She's been with Melbourne, and she's very, very well regarded. We were just talking earlier before you came on. So does Michelle say to you guys, come on, you need to man up, or does the term has the terminology changed because of the male-female, the, the obvious? Um, I think our structures are a little bit different. So um, we tend to really focus on being hard at the footy and um, sort of the same terminology. We just like to get in there and have a good scrap. That's correct. <laughs> uh, who are some of the players we'll fall in love with? Some of the characters in your team? P pardon? Who are some of the characters in your team that you think the public will fall in love with? Uh, there's a few. Um, there's a lot of girls with a lot of different personalities and a lot of different characters. So I think, uh, I think they'll fall in love with the whole team. Yeah, Excellent. Hey, right. you, you kicked a big. You, you were the leading goal kicker last year. What's the biggest bag you've kicked? Uh, I kicked ten one game last week. Oh, two or well, two bags of ten. Two I think last season. So. Imagine if you started with a ten on the weekend. That would be something. And, <laughs> and live on TV is that special for you, so that everybody at home can watch. Yeah, it's really really exciting. We've got a lot. A lot of girls have got family and friends heading over for the game. So, um, but there's a, definitely a very a lot of hype and um, had a lot of messages of people encouraging us and looking forward to watching us live on TV. Good luck. It's tomorrow afternoon, 4.40 our time at the Wooden Noble. Uh, good luck, Amy. Let's hope you can bring home the bacon. Yeah, we hope so too. Thank you very much. Good on you, Amy uh, Lavelle there.